from the Department of Corrections that will change the fate of all of the people that sit right now on death row. J.R. Berry joins now in studio with those details. J.R. Yeah, ladies, after a 12 year pause, it appears that executions could resume once more in the state of South Carolina. The state corrections department, along with the governor, have informed the state Supreme Court they are now prepared to carry out executions by lethal injection. It's been 12 years since South Carolina has carried out an execution because our state didn't have a so-called shield law, meaning the identity and individuals involved in making the drugs and carrying out the execution could be identified. But lawmakers passed legislation earlier this year, with the governor signing it in May. Now South Carolina inmates will have three choices, the electric chair, the firing squad, or lethal injection. Governor today saying justice has been delayed too long and that today's action brings our state closer to being able to once again carry out the rule of law and give grieving families some closure. And in case you're wondering tonight, there are 35 men currently on death row in South Carolina. The longest serving inmate, 79 year old Fred Singleton. He was convicted of killing a Newberry County woman back in 1982. He's been on death row for the past 40 years being locked up there in 1983. Ladies. Jared, so what does this mean for inmates who are currently on death row? Well, right now the state Supreme Court has a case in front of them about the legality, the constitutional legality of the death penalty in the state of South Carolina. And some believe, especially the governor, that today's decision to say, okay, now we have the shield law, now they can get these lethal injection drugs. They believe this is gonna make the court's decision a lot easier. So far, we're not hearing from the state Supreme Court on that issue tonight. All right, JR, thanks so much.